click OK, put the YouTube play button, so you just keep adding the bevels and emboss that you made already. Aw, oh, you fucking kidding me. What's going on guys, it's Bear, today I'm bringing you guys another video, and uh, if you guys can see by the beginning of this tutorial, my Photoshop crashed, I wasn't like, done with the big the banner itself, but I was pretty close, but yeah, Photoshop crashed, uh, I hate when that happens, cause it's annoying as shit, <laughs> but uh, other than that, we're gonna be making a banner like this, it's gonna be like a personal, uh, clean, sleek 2D banner, I don't know what to really call it, I'll try to figure out a title in the middle of this video. But uh, there'll be a download link in the description for my pack, my YouTube template, and if you guys want to buy just this template, it's going to be, uh, let's say, $1.50 on my Cellify or a dollar or whatever I choose. Probably like $1.50 because Cellify takes like tax and shit, which is really annoying as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be updating my Cellify. Uh, I also joined Auto, and if you guys can go subscribe to him, uh, that's who I made the banner for. He's one of my friends. So a link will be in the description for everything I'm talking about right now. And uh, there's also a order form, not an order form, but a tutorial submit form in the, like, in the, what's it called, description as well. So, uh, to get this started right away, we're going to just open up my 600 pack and my Bears YouTube template thing. And then, we're just going to have everything here, and we're just going to make a new layer, and then we're going to take the brush on a size, like, 420, 422-ish, and then make it blue. And then what you do is go like a quarter of the way, a little more than a quarter of the way through, and just kind of make a uh, a brush, and then just lower the opacity to like probably like seventies. Next thing you do is go into the template pack or the six hundred pack, and go into the frat pack, Lilo's pack or Lilo CC. Bring it into the template, drop it in, and then just put that there, and then lower this opacity of the pack of the thing. And then you just mess with that opacity, so it's about it's about there. 58 is good. All right, so what we're gonna next do is just add the logo in the middle. So if you just take out your custom logo or have like a special text thing you like using, so you just put that in here, and then you're just gonna center it kind of like just take the CC off when you're doing this kind of stuff because my Photoshop lags and I don't know why. But I have enough RAM and power to definitely to use this without lagging. But uh, it just does it sometimes. So what you do is just center this, put in the middle, and then uh, add the bevels and emboss. If you guys don't have this bevels and emboss, it's in the pack. If you go to layer styles, it's called mine. That's the layer style I'll be using for that. And then next thing you're gonna do is make a new layer above layer nine. And then put your thing to about 300, depending on your logo. So it has like an outer ring of it. And then click there. And then lower the sensor, lower the opacity. And then just put the CC on to find out it's a good opacity. Like that. Alright. So next thing we're going to add is just kind of like a couple essential things. So what we can do is just minimize these two things. Go to your particles and then go to the third one down and then you're gonna hit control i on it so if it says it's just gonna be like this you just hit control i and the white speckles come up and then you're just gonna add it in here just like that and then you can just click around you just control j it and then just kind of move it around places Next thing I'm going to do is go back into the pack and then uh, go to lighting and flares and go to the third one down and to just bring that in as well. And then you're just going to bring that to the bottom. Go to edit, transform, flip vertically, not horizontally. Ooh. Aha, there you go. And then you're just going to bring this up just so it's like that. And then you can make the CC stronger. Alright. Probably to like 68, almost 70. Alright, so the next thing we're going to be adding is kind of like text. So what we're going to do is, I have these rulers already set up. I first put one in the middle. Let's just say 
I'll take these away and do it for you guys. I put one in the middle. And then I put another one a little bit above that. And then I put another one a little bit below that. And then I just took the one out in the middle. And then I just moved these up so like they're kind of centered. Alright. So what we're going to do now is, since we have those, we're going to go into the Bear 600 pack. And then we're going to go to logos and teams and sponsors. And then you can go to your social media or you can go to whatever clans. You can go to add whatever you like. But I'm going to be adding just my social links. So let's just say I want to add Skype. I would bring in Skype. And then I would put the bottom lined up with this ruler and then hit shift or hit control T and then hold shift in the one corner and make it the size. Then go to your YouTube. I'm using the YouTube play button because the regular one's kind of ugly. So there's two of them. So I guess I'll just use this one since it's already out of it. And then you just put the bottom here. Hit control T, hold shift, change the size. Then you go to say you want Twitter. You just bring your Twitter in. And I have more social links, so you don't need to worry about not having any. If you don't have any, you can just download a social link pack off YouTube somewhere. Speaking of packs, for 800, I'll be uh, doing a layer style pack, which is going to be pretty nice. And for 1K, I might have an update video. Might be doing more kind of personality videos, like playing games and shit. But uh, I don't know. But I'm just going to be adding the Xbox logo as well. And then just bring this down. And then put the bottom there and then hit Control T on the thing. And then hold shift. But if you guys would like to see that kind of stuff, it's like more gaming. And I'll have like an upload schedule as well. I'll be like or tutorials on Mondays and this like miss like gaming on let's just say gaming on uh Wednesday and then tutorial on Friday or like a miscellaneous video. But uh, I'm gonna minimize not minimize but hide the Lilo's packets now because it's getting a little annoying. So you just put those together and then you're gonna start centering them apart. So what you do is make a white rectangle and then just from the corner of your logo, probably out about that much. Take your Skype and put it at the edge of the thing. Drag the rectangle that way. And then take your say Xbox and then drag it over here. And then put the logo thing here. Just say YouTube goes there. And then the rectangle goes that way. And then just say Twitter. And then you're going to zoom out and minimize that, and the spacing's good. Alright, so now you're going to add colors, so you do is, this, this is what happened when it crashed last time, but you're going to right click on, say, Skype, go to Blending Options and Bevels and Emboss, and then lower the black opacity, and then go to Color Overlay, and just kind of guess what color it is. So I'm going to go to the blues, and I'm going to make it kind of a bright blue, and then go back to the Bevels and Emboss and lower the opacity of the white. And then create a new, uh, a new style. But I already have one created, so just add that to my YouTube, and then go to blending options, go to color overlay, and YouTube is red, obviously red and white. But I'm just gonna keep it red. Then duplicate the YouTube one if we're using this. Go to blending options, color overlay, and make it white. And I don't, I'm not too sure, so inside of it. But uh, you can do that, I'm not going to do it. And then go to your Twitter, and just keep adding the bevels and emboss, and Twitter's that color, and then just add the jump to the Xbox, right click, blending options, color overlay, and then put it to green. Alright, next is going to be adding text, so if you just click on the CC, see how it looks, obviously it looks pretty nice. So adding text is going to be pretty easy, so just, you're going to go to your, uh, fonts you're gonna go to Arial. You can use other fonts, I'm just using Arial because it's a nice font. Put it down to about 20 and then put on your rulers if you can, your things. Or you have to type something first, so let's type in like bear for my Skype it's bear dot OG. And then you would put it on italicized and then you just kind of like lower it, put it in the center I guess. And then you just put a bevels and emboss on that as well, and then you zoom out, 
and it's too big, so you just highlight it, make it smaller, and then you can put the spacing out a little more and make it smaller again. Just put that right here. And you can zoom out. Alright, and then you can just uh, control J that, bring it over to here. And then you can be like bear df, which is my YouTube or my Xbox gamer tag. And then just control J that, and then bring it over here. And I'm assuming you guys know my YouTube, it's bear design. And then control J that as well. And just drag it over here. So my, my Twitter is also Bear Designs. So you have like your social links and stuff, and then you just gonna click the CC back on, see how it looks, and then you can start adding more stuff. So you just make a new layer, take a white rectangle, put one here, and then put a bigger one, or another one like right here, and then make a, have another smaller one. And then merge these layers, merge shapes, rasterize, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, then put it on soft light, or not soft light, just keep it on normal, lower the opacity, and just take your eraser, just click around, so you have that, and then you just miss the opacity, so, alright, so you just click the CC back on, and notice that it just leaves it like a little hint of things, and then you go to your 600 pack once again, and then you go to your magical looks stock, click that on, drag that in. Hopefully, Photoshop doesn't crash, that'd be awful. And just kind of highlight that above the text and stuff. Alright, now you're just gonna right click on the top text thing and go to color overlay and make it black. Click OK, and then you're gonna save a PNG, and just be like there, one I guess, your name or whatever. So uh, I'm gonna pause the video really quick, and I'm gonna open up my After Effects because I have a like pirated version, I guess you would call it. I have a legal version, and I, it takes a little bit to load, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back and opened finally, it's been like two minutes, so just open that up and then just import your project. And if you guys don't know from my previous tutorials, I use a lot of After Effects for enhancements. So I'll just make that and then drag it in. And then go to your composition. What did I just click? Go to your composition settings and then make everything zero, except for the last number, so it's zero, 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 one. And then go to layer. Go to, or no, sorry, go to effect, uh, go to right, red giant color suite, and then go to Mag magic bullet looks. And I use also a, a lot of magic bullet looks because it gives us a better guest enhancement. So if I just drag that there, and then go to your posts, go to your curves, drag the first two down a little bit. Go to lens, add a Vignia, go to edge softness. And just go like that, make it a little bigger. Go to anamorphic flares, and just go ahead and put the boost up to about there. So it's like that. And then go to uh, pop, and then drag the pop up. And obviously the boost is too much, so you go to anamorphic flares, you can just drag down the boost a little bit. Then you can go to your chromatic and aberrations and then pull up the red and pull up the green. Click finished, go to composition, add to render queue, go to lossless, put it to PNG sequence, and then just sit, render it. And it renders really quick. And then you just open it back up and it's going to be like bare, what, one with a bunch of zeros. And then <clears throat> you import that. And then you import the bear one of the regular version. And then drag your Magic Bowl Looks version into here. And then duplicate it. And then you're going to take a ruler. Or not a ruler, I keep saying that. An eraser. 
and then put the hardness to zero, size to about 400, and then just kind of click around like that. And then you can just merge all of these layers, and then you can just go to control them all, like control E, which says merge them all. Go to distort, displace, five, five, and then you put a displacement in. If you haven't seen a displacement, I have a tutorial on that. Highly suggest checking out. Take your eraser, erase the bottom of it, and then you're gonna zoom in, erase the logos, or like the logo, shit. And then you're gonna just take a ruler or eraser on harness of zero, or hardness of, oh my god, an eraser on hardness of like 60, just kind of go like this. So just like bring out most of like the stuff, like still leave a little bit. And then just erase the logos. And then if you guys don't like that, you guys can just hide it. And then you say you just want to hide it, merge all these layers, make a new, do a duplicate them, go to render, lens flare, and go to 105 millimeter prime, put it to the top, and then you can just lower the, lower the opacity of that. Other than that, that's about it. So that's about it, guys. Really easy, really simple, very clean. Uh, YouTube banner. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next, please leave a, like, a thing in the forum. I always check them. I'm doing some that people have really already requested probably next time. So, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just please let me know in the comments. Also, if you've had problems with this, just please let me know. But, uh, you guys need After Effects and Magibol looks for this, or you can just get Magibol looks for Photoshop, depending on if you're computer can let like lets it happen um other than that there's nothing really to talk about uh check out my cell fi one i'm gonna be adding more stuff to it probably soon this will be up for download for like a dollar fifty or something but uh that's about it uh big plans for a 1k uh a layer style pack out for your 0.8k so uh yeah i've been growing pretty fast and pretty pumped about that so that's about it. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below. Add me on Skype. Check out the form below. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.